Ukraine desperately fights for the last time as it braces for the nation's key port city fall against Russia. Paul Gachalian will tell us why live. Yes, uh, Paul, good evening. Go ahead. William, Ukrainian armed forces call today their last battle against Russia after its capital city, Mariupol, gets completely surrounded and overpowered by the Russian forces. The armed forces added that it is death for some and captivity for the rest of the nation. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky continues to plead for military assistance from its allies, making it clear that their resources are simply not enough to defend the city against the invasion. Про думаную тактику. Але якщо говорити про необхідну зброю, ми все ще залежимо від постачання від наших партнерів. На жаль, ми не отримуємо стільки, скільки необхідно, щоб швидше закінчити цю війну, щоб повністю знищити ворога на нашій землі. Zelensky also pleaded to South Korea's National Assembly, where he told lawmakers that Mariupol and its citizens were completely destroyed and burned to ashes, with tens of thousands of lives lost in the battle. The invasion has now stretched seven weeks, yet Russia is still believed to be pushing for even larger operations towards the Donbass region where activity is detected. Defense Ministry spokesperson Muduzianik on Monday stated that their preparation is almost over. French investigators have since arrived in, U- in U- Ukraine to investigate suspected war crimes and perpetrators, including the Russian president himself and 500 other suspects. William? Yes, uh, Paul, are there any other insights with the invasion, particularly in the city of Mariupol? Well, William, this war is now dragging to its seventh week, and it was reported that the Russian troops are advancing on the Azov Steel Factory, which is considered the final stronghold of U- Ukrainian nationalists. Back to you, William. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Paul Gatchalian, reporting live. <laughs>